this is my car, everybody. Wow. So I guess a little backstory is that a long time ago on Facebook, I saw little micro mini keychain things that looked really cute. And I was like, I'd love to get one of those to hang from my window. And I remember asking her how much they were. She wanted like $25 or something. And I was going to buy it, like support an artist, support someone that's doing something cool. But then I was like, I could probably make one just as easily. <laughs> I had a dream as a child that I wanted a Mustang. And that was purely because of the logo of the Mustang. But now I realize it's Ford and I would never buy a Ford. And then my like next car after the Mustang when I got really rich was a Ferrari because of the horse logo as well. So I think every horse girl has probably thought that at one point in their life that they wanted a car purely based on the logo. So I want to hang something from here. And then I have this flat spot that is just begging for some kind of horse paraphernalia. Let's horsify this car. So these are my two culprits, which this is gonna be the dashboard horse, and this is going to be the dangling charm horse. But I'm not painting them anything fancy. I'm going to just be spray painting them with this rust oleum metallic. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I feel like this guy won't stick to my dash unless I like tag him to something. So I found this like mini canvas that I think he will fit on. I can super glue him to it and I want to just paint that black. But we're gonna go and try this chrome paint uh, outside today and see what happens. <laughs> That looks so cool. It totally worked. I'm not gonna lie, I did not think that that was going to work. These look super cool. This paint is awesome. Like you can't see yourself in it, but it's pretty reflective. I didn't think it was gonna work that well. Like, I wanna know what else I can spray paint silver now. <laughs> so now I'm going to paint this black and I'm gonna figure out how to drill a hole in this guy. You can see that it's not perfectly amazing and he had some sanding done that didn't work very well, but we're just gonna roll with it. So this is gonna be like the fastest paint job you've ever did see. I'm literally just going to take my Eclipse airbrush golden high flow acrylic because it's a little bit satiny in texture. I'm just going to spray paint this like super fast and just go to town. Oh yeah. So like I'm really not sure if I have to dremel this or if I can get away with just using this like super sharp pointy thing because it's like plastic it's not necessarily like a stable mate it's like a rubber plastic I feel like this will work without stabbing yourself don't try this at home I don't know so this might work eh, it seems to be going in now I happen to have an even pointier thing. It's even longer and pointier than the last. So we're gonna try and ram that through it instead without breaking it, because this isn't mine, this is my boyfriend's. So we're just gonna keep like twisting. So I got it, see? So it did work. Cool. All right, so I'm back here with some stuff. I used to have a bunch of charms, but I cannot find them anywhere. So the best I could get was just these little flowery ones. So we're gonna add those to the chain as well. And then I have some nice silver chain. And I have this really expensive, really fancy Swars Swarsky, Chris Swarsky crystal. I don't know how you say that. I'm hoping when it catches the light, it'll be very pretty. So we're gonna start by opening that. So essentially, I'm just gonna make this thing look pretty.
So I think I'm happy with how that's looking now. I've kind of moved around those little pieces and I'm gonna go take these down to my car and see if they actually fit inside or not. Oh heck yeah. That looks so cool. I'm wondering if it shouldn't be like a little bit shorter. Then I guess it's kind of in my line of sight. This way it's actually not in the line of sight. People always hang stuff from their mirrors and I never really understood it. Now I'm gonna be one of those people. So fancy, <laughs> look at me go. And so really I just wanted to put this horse like here in this space. I don't know how to like stick him there though so he stays. I may have to reconsider my plan of attack here. <laughs> it's not too bad over there, but it's still a little excessive. Hello, I'm horse crazy. Can you tell? I don't know. <laughs> so I've decided that this little guy is probably better for the dash of my car because it's less invasive and she's quite a bit smaller than Alborozo. So I'm gonna scrap the Alborozo and use this guy instead. Which also means that I will be scrapping the use of this um, black canvas as well because it would look like way too tacky and it's just not needed anymore. I'd say that this is like too much, it's a little bit too tacky, and this is kind of tacky enough. But there we have it, car decorated with briars. So I, the all in all experience of this, I'm really not sure that it was really worth it. <laughs> I can't say that I will be keeping both of these, I will probably just be keeping this tacky keychain. It actually gets really nice in the sunshine, it glitters all over my car. But the little baby full probably won't stay just because I don't want to wreck the dash and he's, I don't know, it's a little much. Anyways, this has been DJV. I hope you had fun and um, I hope you enjoyed watching me decorate my car with priors. <laughs>